Guys, Cole Townsend here, and in today's video, the new drift car is getting an angle kit. We are putting a Wise Fab angle kit on this car, but to get it, we have to give the guy stock control arms. We're getting a steal for the Wise Fab kit. So, but here's the new car. It's a BMW 328i. It's got M3 trim. It's painted and M3 mirrors. The car needs a lot of work. It's it's rough. It's automatic. It's got a ricer bumper on it. It's got cut springs and sketchy stuff and this big old dent. But we're gonna put an over fender on. You'll never be able to know that it's dented. Um, a little bit of rust action going on here that we're gonna have to take care of, but shouldn't be too hard to do. Just grind it down and then paint over it. And if we need to patch it, we'll patch it. But I doubt we will. Um, so yeah, Zach's working on here. He's working on getting the tie rods off because we have to take all this stuff off in like the next hour and then drive like two hours to the kit. So let's get to work. Take off your control arms on these cars uh, or trade what we're doing. You need to take off our tie rods. So you use a pickle fork, take your tie rod off, put that in there, you smash this guy with a hammer. You take off the two 17 mils right here. You take off a 22 or 24 that's up there, and then you take off this uh, 19 mil right there, and your shock. Super simple. We'll be done in no time. Guys, we just finished off getting the one control arm out, and now this one's gonna come out of the car like that. So now the control arms are out. Nice job, Zach. We got those control arms out. It probably took us maybe half an hour. Now we're gonna go ahead, throw everything in the car, rip down to Auburn, get the Wise Fab kit, come on back up, and put this thing on angle. Crazy angle, the car doesn't even run right yet, and we're putting a thousand dollar angle kit on it. So that's fine. So guys, we just drove half an hour, no, probably like a solid, it was probably an hour. It was an hour. Probably about an hour from Muckle Teo uh, down to Auburn. And we just went to Harbor Freight, got all the tools we need to pull off this wise fab kit. Cause the kid- Continue on Washington 18 West for one and a half miles. The kid hasn't pulled this kid off his car yet, so we have to pull the kit off the car to put it on my car. The thing is, the kid just texted us saying he's not here. So now the kid's not there, so it's gonna look like we're stealing something. And then he said his like stepdad's coming home soon. So it's a whole it's a shit show, but we're gonna go to his house right now and start pulling the kid off. We have to wait for him to get home so we can give him the money and pull off the strut tops. But yeah, not stoked on this. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a mess. Pulled up to his house. The car is right over there. The wise fab is insanely wide. Like, I don't, I'm, we're gonna have to get some wide over fenders for this because the wheels look stupid <laughs> without over fenders, but it's fine. It's a, it's a thrash car for now. We got all our tools right here. Brand new tools from Harbor Freight. And we'll go ahead and start on this car and get all this stuff taken. Guys, so uh, this guy over here is spraying some um, brake clean right now in the sealed room so we get a little bit higher. Um, but it's great. It's good for your brain cells. <laughs> Don't do that at home, kids. But we got our wise fab right here, guys. I'm pretty stoked. We had to take the whole kit off, though. Like, man, I'm not stoked on that. But the guy was not the most helpful in the world. I'm going to tell him that much. But. but we got the kit. We got the clip. Um, it was a lot of money. But it's still a good deal. It's it's a lot better deal than like buying a new kit. The only problem is it does not have the adjustable F cabs on it, which is so you can adjust your caster so that you don't hit your chassis when you're at full lock. So we're gonna have to limit full lock just so that we can't uh, destroy the car right away until we get those adjustable F cabs. Let's throw this angle kit onto that ugly, disgusting thrash car that's gonna be destroyed in a few months. Why you say? And send it. Guys, uh, Dima over here, Dimitri, 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 he wants some vodka. Anyways, uh, he's back in the vlog, and he's taking out this freaking gigantic. Damn! See, this is why he gets all the girls. <laughs> he can lift the E36 Yo, exhaust. I know why your car was sitting in the exhaust. As soon as I pull the clip, oh. you watch out for that. That's a thousand dollar piece. As soon as I pulled it off. So what is that no ghetto? Bolts. There's no mounts. What is that no ghetto bolts. ass? So this is a factory mount. This is some ghetto shit right this here. This goes on. This goes on. Anyways, thing. we're gonna go on to the front. Dima's doing some wizardry back there, and then uh, we gotta do some fixing here because my boy Zach over here. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, he he uh, stripped out. <laughs> that guy right there. See how it's all stripped out? 
Oh, focus. Focus, camera. Anyways, it's all stripped out. We have a type of die set. We're going to chase the threads. Hopefully, we can fix them. If not, we're just going to have the car sitting. The car's sitting for a week, and hopefully, um, YSFAB can get us a new piece. But anyways, SLR is better than YSFAB, so it's okay. First arm, I just did the thread chase on it. And I don't really want to try to do it with the... Oh, I got it. There it goes. So now it just goes on, and we're just going to chase it a few times. But the thread's looking way better now, and we're going to be able to actually thread it on, because I can do it by one hand now. So, I'm stoked. I honestly did not think that was going to work, so that's actually kind of cool. I've never actually had to chase a thread and have it work. So that's the first time. So Zach over here, he learned his lesson. He's all good now. Yeah. But we're going to get this thing done. You guys, we're almost done with the second side right now. Sorry the video's been kind of short. Uh, it's been all over the place. But right in here, there's a crack. So we got to weld that up. Uh, you do not want your strut top cracked. As you guys saw in the Gambler 500 video, when we put the strut through the hood, you don't want to have a cracking strut top. It's not good. So we're going to weld that up and slap on this coilover, and then we'll show you guys how the fitment is. It's crazy. It's too good. It's not going to run. So guys, uh, we just got the welds in the car. As you can see right here, I just primed it over it. Not the most amazing weld ever. So like, it's, it'll hold. I'm a little tipsy. We've been drinking a little bit. Um, it'll hold though. This is a thrash car. If it does crack again, we can always put a full on like new strut top on it, but I don't think we'll have to. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up selling this car eventually after I make it a tin can. But for now, we're gonna send it. So guys, we just got it on. It's super sick. The fitment is crazy. Look at this. Literally, I can't even fit my fingernail on there. It's, ow, it hurts. Don't roll the wheel over your finger. So we gotta cut the fenders, obviously. We can't put it on the ground just yet, but let's go ahead and show you the angle. Hit it. Damn! It is not as much as my SLR kit, I'll tell you that much. And it also hits. What's it hitting on? The f it hits the frame. So we're gonna need to run more of a spacer to space it out and then we'll be able to run this. That's pretty sick. Okay, turn it the other way. So this is a zero Ackerman setup on the uh, y stop kit. Oh wait. <laughs> it won't go on this side. Go the other, we'll go the other side. It's clear on this side because the car. No, keep going. Stop. Go the other way. Damn! So, guys, right here, as you can see, it's, it is literally on the tire. And the lift's not even all the way down yet. It's just crunching the tire at this point. So, we're going to cut the fender, sadly. Do it for like the 